What's going on everybody? It's Aaron Cates. I'm coming at you with another video today. Now today is Monday. You probably are going to be watching this video on Wednesday. And today I'm going to be axle dumping the truck. Uh, I just went to the local auto zone and I picked up just simple things you might need to axle dump your truck. Now it might be a little bit different for you if you still have the stock exhaust on your truck. You might have to cut some things. But the pipe I have on my truck comes out right over top of my axle. My truck is straight piped. It's been that way for like two years now and I want to get actual exhaust work done but I'm trying to get other things done before Daytona and that's just other things come first so this will do until after Daytona when I have the money to get the exhaust done this cost $35 it's a simple exhaust tip a pipe and an exhaust clamp now you might have a different exhaust tip you'd like you can go on Amazon and buy them you can go to RBP, you can go wherever. Many different companies sell exhaust tips. If you're wanting some massive eight inch tip on a diesel, or if you're wanting an eight inch tip on a gas, or a five inch tip, three inch tip, whatever. I went with a three and a half inch tip. It's four inches, or nine inches long. It goes from three inches in, and I think it's four in, like three and a half to four inches out. And I'll show that to you right now. Now this is the two and a quarter elbow pipe, the exhaust clamp, and the exhaust tip I went with. It is, turn this around, it's upside down. It is nine inches in length. The outlet diameter is three and a three quarter inches. Inlet is a little bit over two and a quarter. So, there's your specifications. It is powder coated, but, uh, matte glossy black. I didn't want anything ridiculously big because this is a gas truck, so. And I keep this realistic, but I'm going to give you guys a startup of how it is now, and then we'll put everything on and see what it sounds like then. Alright, well, I look like a freaking idiot with these safety glasses on. I realize how dumb I look with these, because you don't really see yourself when you're wearing safety glasses, but I've got them. They're safety first. It's not clamped or anything yet. This is just kind of stuck in here, but it's a little sideways. i got to turn it. That's just a quick idea. Alright, just a little tip for you guys that don't do like much work on your vehicles whenever you're hitting something that is metal you never want to use like an actual hammer if you don't want it to bend because I want this to be as straight down as possible like this and you gotta make sure you got it angled where you want because it's kind of hard to move when it's in and then hold it You want to get your exhaust clamp. You don't want this coming back out. Now make sure when you buy an exhaust clamp, you buy one for the right size pipe. Like this is two and a quarter pipe, two and a quarter exhaust clamp. Now how this works, it just goes right over where that exhaust pipe goes in. You want to tighten both sides as evenly as possible. You mainly kind of guess off that by the length of the threads. If one side's threads look longer than the other, that means you have one side tight more than the other. So, just like before, you want to get this pipe where you want it. And I'm thinking right there is going to look good. So tighten each side a little bit at a time until you're touching. Three. All right. Give it a nice little tug. Nothing's coming off. That is not going to go anywhere. On. So let's get all this cleaned up and see how it sounds. Alright, 
favorites. What do you guys think of the $35 axle dump exhaust kit? I think it actually sounds a lot better. It doesn't come out and get caught underneath the bed anymore and kind of go everywhere. It's out of direction and it goes down. It's on a more like, not muffled because it's still a straight pipe, but it's got a different tone to it. And I honestly think it sounds a lot better than it did. And now it looks better because now from behind, you're gonna see that um, exhaust pipe coming down as before you had to get down to even see where that pipe was. So like now, you can see that exhaust pipe back there. It actually kind of blends in because it's black, but I think it looks great. What's really gonna make a difference is when I go through and I coat the whole frame of the truck, I think that's gonna make a big difference with the underneath looks and make that kind of stand out a little bit more because everything will be nice and clean instead of like clay and rust colored everything's gonna have a nice clean black look because i'm just going with a black bed liner underneath and i think that's gonna look great so i want to say thank you guys for watching uh let me know if you intend on doing this 35 dollar axle dump or if you're doing another auto auto zone style like exhaust kit if that's your route to go it's easy there's exhaust clamps <laughs> and see here in the background it's just exhaust clamps and piping and their pipe super cheap it was like six dollars per piece and exhaust clamps for three dollars a piece can't really beat that it's super cheap and i spent 35 dollars in total with the exhaust tip the pipe and the clamp when if i would have taken it to a shop they would have charged me probably an hour's worth of labor to weld put a piece of pipe in and an exhaust tip and probably would have been like 150 dollars just to have that little amount done and you can do it yourself for 35 bucks so thank you all for watching remember to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more videos what's going on everybody it's the next morning i just had to get a cold start for you with the new exhaust hope y'all enjoyed that see y'all later